I am originally from Jamaica. All right, um, I born in Jamaica, then moved to the States when I was around 11. I lived in Florida for a bit, studied engineering while I was there. Um, worked from 2004 all the way up until 2010 as an engineer. I was working for a newspaper, setting up their online department, ran the online department for about three or four years. While working, my wife always believed and she always said, you should be a pastor, you should be a pastor, you should be a pastor. And I really, I ran from that. Um, as in, I would do everything except be the, just go to school and study to be a pastor. I would do Bible studies in my home. I set up a network of homes there in Florida where we're doing Bible studies and we had a four house rotation. Um, even from that, we had several of our friends got baptized. People from community that our neighbors that would come to our Bible studies on Friday evenings, they got baptized, right? So there was growth from it. Even the local pastor, he's like, man, you're really good at this. And I was like, you know, I like this. I would do the Bible studies and I would even get invited to go to different churches in the area to speak. And I was like, okay, I'm happy right here. I just on the weekends, whenever I want to, you know, go out and do a ministry. And you know, I, I was content with that. My wife, she was like, no. I believe there's more. There's a lot more you could do and you should really be a pastor. I'm like, no, no. And I eventually, I got to a point where I started to get excited more for the weekend when I actually meet to do Bible study. So throughout the week, I'm preparing. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a good study. This is going to be good. It's going to be good. And I get, and I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm so excited for the word. I can't wait to share this, right? Uh, it has impacted me so much. I just, I just want to share it. Oh, this is going to be good. And my wife just saying, why do you keep torturing yourself like this? Like waking up to go to work and run an apartment, different things like that, where I realized everything was based on just making money. It wasn't really impacting people's lives. And I loved people. I loved dealing with people. While even at work, people are coming to me, asking questions for counseling. Hey, what do you think about this? What do you think? I'm having this issue with my wife and this, my kids. And I'm like, I'm, these are people that are gr grown old enough to be my parents, asking me. And I'm like, uh, well, you know, I'll sit and I'll talk with them, I'll pray with them. And they knew I was a Christian and everything. And sometimes they would even mistake. They're like, are you a pastor or something? They would mistake. And I would share this with my wife. My wife was like, the Lord's trying to tell you something. Long story short, I actually, I got to a point where I said, you know what, Lord? I'm going to pray about this. I'm going to fast and pray. And I said, at the end of this week, if I don't, get a sense completely. If I'm not completely confident about going into ministry, I am not. I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. The Friday night we're, we're there and during the, during the prayer service, my wife is sitting up on my left and I hear a voice and I actually thought it was my wife that said it. And I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm like, Lord, is this, should I really, should I really go into ministry? Should I really go into ministry? And the voice said loud and clear, what are you waiting on? Stop wasting time. You know exactly what you need to do. I want you to go into ministry, become a pastor, stop wasting time. And the voice was, was, so, it was soft, it was to my shoulder. I almost thought someone either behind me or, or my wife said it. So I actually turned to look. There was no one behind us. I look and I tap my, my wife because everyone is quiet in the room. And I thought she said it. So I tell her, like, did you just say something to me? She's like, no, I didn't. Afterwards, I, I told my wife what I heard. And she's like, good. I've been praying also. And, I'm, and I feel overwhelmingly clear that the Lord, yes, He wants you to go into ministry. Even after that, <laughs> I still resisted. I still resisted. I called my dad. I said, Dad, I'm thinking of giving my job notice, pack, thinking of selling my home, packing up and moving from Florida to Tennessee to go study at Southern to become a minister. He's like, go ahead, do it. I was like, whoa, 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 you didn't hear it. No, no, no. I'm going to leave my job, salary job with benefits, everything. Sell our home, Dad. Pack up and move to a whole nother state, away from, even further away from you now. He's like, yes, what, what's the issue? So then I said, you know what? I'm going to call my mom. Call my mom. She's like, praise the Lord. Yes, thank you. She's like, I always knew you were supposed to be a minister from your young child. Called my brother. I was like, all right, maybe he's gonna set me straight. Called him and told my brother. My brother was like, dude, it took you long enough. You've always been a minister. He's like, you're my pastor already. You know, so, um, you know, so it, was, it was that kind of transition. Within a few months, gave my job notice, 
the editor of the newspaper did not want me to leave to the point that she says, you know what, would you please stay on staff even, and work remotely? So while I was at Southern, yeah, I work remotely, I helped train my successor, and it, the Lord worked it out. Put our house on the market, as a matter of fact, at a time right there in 2010 that houses weren't being sold, the Lord worked it out within, within about 20-something 20, 20 days. So, and that's just all along the way, the Lord has just been confirming, confirming um, every single step. Got to Southern, and before I even finished at Southern, I received a call to the Georgia Cumberland Conference. I already knew that the Lord had prepared a way for me. And after that, going to Andrews, and the Lord just blessed all the way through. And He's, he's still blessing, even now. I'm now pastoring at also Granby Church and the Sweetwater um, Church Company, so two church district. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Um, when, it comes to, when it comes to ministry, I am very, very passionate about intergenerational. I love working with young people, but I also love working with the elders, the seniors. I'm passionate about those that have been hurt. There are many in our churches that are struggling secretly. They've been abused, they've been damaged in so many different ways. And I find that I'm really loving the pastoral counseling aspect of ministry, where I can sit down with individuals, hear their story. Um, and when I say pastoral counseling, I'm not only talking about church members, I'm talking about people in the community, where oftentimes we, we think to preach and oh, here's this truth, here's, and we're not realizing why people are not just not, they're not receptive to it. And it's because they're struggling with so many other things that it's distracting them, bombarding them in their lives. For so many, they've been hurt by even the church. The place that they, they went to expecting refuge and restoration, and they end up, you know, they got hurt by it. And, you know, so I like to come alongside and get in the ministry of reconciliation, especially as a, as a young, young minister. Many times when I sit and talk with people, they're like, oh, pastor, <laughs> but they're like, wait a minute. You don't really come across like the typical pastor. You, you, you seem a little bit different, but I, I guess I'll give you a chance. You know, so I pride myself on that, on just being relatable with people. My preaching is very interactive. Um, I don't like to just be the main only person speaking. I like to get some interaction from, from the audience. People can ask questions and I love to teach. I love to teach. You know, so that way, um, any given service, any given opportunities that I get, it's relatable to both the stranger that walks in off the street, as well as to the member that's been there for 40, 50 years. Even now, I have a Bible study class that I do on Sundays, every Sunday morning at 11, where it's open. Members, community, come. And I do that on purpose because I wanted, I wanted to create an opportunity where, you know, members can come. It's a Sunday, they have a little bit of free time, but also I know that people from the community they're also more used to going to a church on a Sunday, you know, so I use that opportunity, they come, and I've been getting a lot of visitors, a lot of non-Adventists, non-Christians coming. I was actually very, very surprised to see the, the amount of people that come out and the amount of interest that people have in the book of Daniel. I thought, if anything, do, this would be more for the, the already Christians. It, no, people all over, they're eager and they're, they're interested, they have questions. Today means a lot. It means, it means um, the, it's like the final culmination of, of everything, that um, it's a confirmation that the Lord has called, but that He has, His calling, His calling for my ministry is, being, is not being confirmed by others looking on. Um, it's not that I have, to, I have to state it verbally and hope that someone believes me. Others have seen um, the Lord working and seeing the fruits of my labor, especially because of my journey, where I didn't I didn't go right away, and you know, kind of, kind of, kind of feeling like, man, did I let God down? Did I wait too long? Did I linger? Um, did I waste my opportunity? And for today, it's more of no, you didn't. And the Lord has been showing me um, step by step how, while I was working as an engineer, while I was working on a newsroom, while I was working with the editors and different, different people, I was actually learning various skills that have prepared me for this moment. And I believe that I'm a better pastor today because of the route that I took, and the Lord has blessed me through that. So today is more like, no, you, it's, it's okay. Um, the Lord has been blessing you, and all, all those things, the tools that you learn along the way, the Lord's gonna use it for His glory. So I'm, I'm very happy.